All right, how's everybody doing? Um, back with another replay commentary. This time with uh, Sergeant Mine from Class Four, who was actually featured in one of my earlier videos. Um, Sergeant Mine's playing in the Tier Four Kiho, which is one of the Japanese tanks which was removed from the tech tree. Now this is quite an interesting low tier. You think of a lot of low tier vehicles all being very similar. This tank actually has a quite a, quite a bit going for it. It's got a really nice 57 millimeter, which at tier four has almost 1900 DPM. I believe it's 1875 uh, base, but I'm sure you could get that up over 2K. I wouldn't be surprised if Sergeant Mine has it already. Now he's in a platoon with Sea Monkey, um, and actually uh, there's another sergeant from uh, Class X as well in the battle who they don't actually happen to be platooning with. So. Uh, Sergeant Mine here in the Kehoe and Sea Monkey, the Lago, are going to both take very aggressive positions here on Pilsen. Now, this is a very interesting spot. You can easily get flanking shots, however, you, you can get trapped back here too. So, high risk, high reward. Now, he's going to get one good shot in on this Stug, and you can see here it hits for 70. Um, with a 2.5 second reload base, that's not bad at all. Obviously, as a tier 4, it has no armor to speak of, uh, 20 millimeters at the front and 30 on the turret. So it's going to get penned by everything. You may get a ricochet from a low, lower tier. It's also uh, should be notable here that he's bottom tier. For tier fours, uh, tier fives are the highest you will face. So Sea Monkey here, Sea Monster, and uh, Sergeant Mine here are going to show exactly what happens when you use teamwork, even at low tiers as they completely annihilate this STRV M42. You can see how quickly this tank fires. A lot of people say you can't have fun at the low tiers, uh, but this will show you exactly why you can't, especially when you're platooning. They shut down the M42, and both of them then finish off the A20 as he tries to make a run for it. Now they're going to be facing off against the tier 5 here, the T34-1941, a reward vehicle, or maybe it was from the Christmas. Fortunately, he takes a solid hit there from the Stug. This tank doesn't have a lot of health, only 520, which is pretty standard. Sea Monster is going to go and uh, tackle the Stug, while Sergeant Mine here holds the corner. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to trade with the Stug there. I'm going to go trading against the uh, 1941. I think also he's going to get a little bit more. Unfortunately, uh, Sea Monkey, Sea Monster down there, I keep calling him Sea Monkey. Unfortunately, is almost dead against that Stug. Good work there, and unfortunately, the T 34 finishes off Sea Monster, leaving Sergeant alone to fight this T 34. He's going to keep him auto tracked there by shooting that front drive wheel. That's a fantastic play there, keeping the T 34 from being able to get around behind him or maneuver in any sense of the imagination. Sergeant Fury here, the other Class X, is actually going to join in and help out uh, Sergeant Mine here finish off the Stug, who clearly wasn't paying attention. Now, the team on the other side is kind of in an even battle on that zero line. Um, now, Sergeant Mine here is being cautious. He's only got 72 health. He's a one-shot for that T-67, but I believe he can take a hit from the other vehicles. The Cruiser 4 finishes off the BT-7, and all that's left on this flank is that Martyr 38T. This tank can cover a decent amount of ground. It's quite quick. It has a top speed of about 50 kilometers an hour. I don't know what Sergeant Mine's equipment setup here is. Could be using a turbo. Um, I believe you only get two equipment slots on this vehicle. Um, somebody feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, I believe it's I believe it's two equipment. So maybe he's using a turbo, maybe not. He's only hitting 50 here, so I would assume he is. He's got okay ground resistances. Not much to talk about. It does have 10 degrees of gun depression. While that wasn't featured here, in a lot of scenarios, that would be very useful. Obviously, the turret armor is non-existent, but it's still great to have a lot of gun depression, and that's an advantage that a lot of these lower tier tanks have, is they're a lot more flexible than the higher tiers. You don't have a lot of vehicles low gun depression. There's tier 3s with 14 degrees. That actually makes it quite enjoyable. With Wargaming increasing the hit points of all of these low tiers, it means that you don't get 
killed quite as quickly as you would. Good shot there into the P26 tracking him, and finishes the P2640 off as the team caps out for 1100 damage and 5 kills. Great result there. Got some teamwork showcasing what a low tier is able to do and just how dominant this vehicle can be. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.